A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. He himself had declared that there is no respect for the prophet in his own country. But on his arrival, the Galileans received him well, having seen all that he had done at Jerusalem during the festival, which they too had attended. He went again to Cana in Galilee, where he had changed the water into wine. Now there was a court official there whose son was ill at Capernaum, and having heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went and asked him to come and cure his son, as he was at the point of death. Jesus said, So you will not believe unless you see signs and portents? Sir, answered the official, come down before the child dies. Go home, said Jesus, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus had said and started on his way. And while he was still on the journey back, his servants met him with the news that his boy was alive. He asked them when the boy had begun to recover. The fever left him yesterday, they said, at the seventh hour. The father realized that this was exactly the time when Jesus had said, Your son will live. And he and all his household believed. This was the second sign given by Jesus on his return from Judea to Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, we have an account of the encounter of a court official with Jesus. He was serving in the court of Herod, a man of distinguished position. But he was so earnest in seeking up Jesus that he travelled all the way from Capernaum to Cana to look for Jesus. He was determined to meet Jesus. And when he met Jesus, Jesus made a general remark that you will not believe unless you see signs and portents. This man did not react to the remark of Jesus. He was not oversensitive. He did not take that remark as a personal rebuke. Rather, he was quite assured of himself that I do not have that attitude. And he believed that Jesus is not talking about him personally. And so he made his request, please, my child is dying, please heal him. Jesus was very impressed by his faith and told him, your son will live. And the Bible said, he believed. Then he went home. And midway, he met his servants and they told him, sir, your son has recovered. He's alive. He was overjoyed and he asked the servant, what was the time? when the son recovered. They told him the time, and then he realized yeah, that that was the moment when Jesus said, your son will live. Now, what happened? The scriptures concluded by saying that he and his household believed. Now, when he asked, first asked Jesus for that request to heal the son, he believed that Jesus would do that. 
Now, he take one more step. He believed in the person of Jesus. And because of his testimony, his faith, his household likewise believed. Perhaps we want to reflect on our own response to Jesus. It is about whether we truly believe in Jesus from our heart. Or are we just like some people approaching Jesus just looking for signs and portents? And if we see signs and portents, we get very excited, we got very happy. And perhaps at that moment we say, yeah, we believe that Jesus has done this. Yet, is there a deeper effect to that? Does that experience brings about a deeper conversion, a deeper acceptance of Jesus and a desire to follow Him? That means we, we don't just believe in certain acts of Jesus, we truly really believe in the person of Jesus. And if we really believe in Jesus, even at times where we do not see signs and portents, we continue to believe. Because we believe that whatever that is done by Jesus is truly for our good. Thank you and God bless you.